Hi, welcome along to another video. Please support, subscribe, all that sort of thing. This time we will be starting in America again and then finish up with a couple of stories from Indonesia and the Philippines. So we'll start with public enemy number one in the world of weather and climate modification. David Keefe, or DK, as he's sometimes known, I prefer to shorten that to Dick, joins the University of Chicago to lead Climate Systems Engineering Initiative. So he's no longer at Harvard, and he is now operating out of the Uni of Chicago. So any students at the Uni of Chicago might want to ask David about his Yale University presentation, where he stated that he had calculated with his colleagues from MIT, Massachusetts Institute of Technology, how many people would die if they carry out solar radiation management, geoengineering. Now, David didn't state how many people would die if he's allowed to do what he wants to do, but maybe the students there at the Uni of Chicago can ask him that question. And there we can see from Harvard University, David Keefe on leave full term. It's not clear whether David left voluntarily or was asked to leave because of the bad optics that Harvard were clearly getting about him operating out of Harvard, especially the backlash to the projects he was involved in. So we'll see how things pan out in the future. New Mexico, from the Durango Herald. There's a quiz, have you been keeping up with the local headlines? Test your knowledge. Question three, what compound does Western weather consultants use to see clouds? There's not much info out there for Western weather consultants. An application to carry out weather modification activities in New Mexico was withdrawn around November, December 2021. The plan was created in August 2021. And the proposal was for a two to two and a half month winter cloud seeding program for the Roosevelt Soil and Water Conservation District. And it would span from Santa Fe, New Mexico to Castilla, New Mexico. There's some details there. Director of Field Operations, phone number, email address. If you want to talk to them about their weather modification activities during the climate crisis, including their previous activity before the climate crisis. So you can see there, November 2021, Northern New Mexico cloud seeding application retracted. So their plan didn't get the go ahead. They're based in Colorado, and there's a picture of Eric from their LinkedIn profile. We can see that their education is in landscape design, so a landscape gardener. And their following education was in weather forecasting, but they have been the director of field operations for Western Weather Consultants from 2007 to the present day, 16 years. Arizona, those of you that use ad blockers might struggle with this page. From the Arizona Daily Sun, Earth Talk, what are the environmental implications of blue skying? So from what I could see, the article was just about cloud seeding. You can check that one out if you want to. Pennsylvania State Uni, there's a tweet from Professor Michael E. Mann, where they announced there's a geoengineering panel discussion at Penn University, Wednesday, April the 19th, 12 noon. Haven't looked to see if that's online anywhere yet. Maybe it is, maybe it isn't. Pennsylvania State University are holding discussions on the subject. So that was it covering America, Indonesia. From the Indonesian news agency, BNPB anticipates disasters ahead of 2023 Aid homecoming. They're predicting all hell breaking loose in various newspaper articles. The BNPB, along with related institutions, will conduct disaster mitigation measures by utilising weather modification technology, TMC, Taurus Molecular Cloud. If you want to see what that is, ground-based cloud generation, search for TMC 65, Taurus Molecular Cloud 65. You'll find a video out there. They're out there. There's not many of them, but they are out there. The TMC, Taurus Molecular Cloud, 
could be used to decrease and increase rainfall according to disaster management. Additionally, it could be helpful to bring rain and extinguish the fire and even help prevent floods and landslides. So that whole paragraph there is just so contradictory. It just sounds like they're doing the usual weather modification and there's going to be a lot of problems from it. Over to the Philippines, DAI strategies versus El Nino. In addition, weather modification operations will also be conducted to build up rainfall on dams. So that was a quick roundup of some more news. Thanks for watching. Take care. See you next time.